It's episode 64 of the Digital Marketing Masters podcast. I am Yolanda Rose, digital marketer, and every week I bring you easy, actionable tips, content, and strategies that you can use to grow your business online almost immediately. Now, as coronavirus is gripping the entire world and it might just be creeping up on your shores, it's affecting businesses, it's affecting brands, people are spending less, people are staying at home. And today on the show, I want to address the issue and I want to talk about how we can continue to build our brand and increase our sales in the midst of the corona crisis. So the current pandemic situation of coronavirus is a stress test for plenty of brands at this time. Only the strongest and fittest will survive if we as business owners and marketers do not handle the situation with much care. So how do you build a brand in such a crisis? So today on the show, we're going to I'm going to be giving you the details and the nuances of brand building during a crisis. Thousands of brands have been pushed to prove the value of their existence, especially what difference can those brands bring? Consumers will only pay for what is more valuable and meaningful. And in times of crisis and challenges like we are experiencing with coronavirus, on the best branding strategies is to embrace and to solve the problem. Now, I know you don't have a cure for coronavirus, but there's other uh, problems and insecurities that you can solve for your customer. At the moment, one of the biggest challenges for brands uh, such as uh, are such points as a short time and quick response and quality delivery. Now, this reflects the excellence of management and operational quality. The current situation showed brands that consumers become more demanding on safety and quality and hygiene when the situation becomes more and more severe and serious. And as we are seeing with the spread of coronavirus and for brands that are neglecting smaller details in the sense it may cause brands to call to cause irreplaceable damage among their prospective clients. A a brand that has really stood out from the crowd has been Louis Vuitton by posting a sincere, heartfelt message uh, on um, social media to remind everybody to to stay safe and stay healthy during this uh, pandemic that we we are experiencing. Versace have communicated in their way to deliver the positive messages of support for their customers as well. So according to their spokesperson, they are working with fashion media like Elle and in collaboration with many other brands to initiate a a new campaign called I Believe, which is aimed at spreading messages of positivity. So in a time like this, it's... uh, It's kind of scary or it's kind of weird and awkward to be pushing sales and discounts to customers. For example, if if you're in the travel business, uh, like one of my business lines, it it just doesn't seem right promoting happy family vacations when people are are in a real crisis and and panicking. So one thing I have uh, aimed to do is maybe target holidays later in the year, the second half of the year and offer, offer them at a really good discount. Um, offer messages of positivity. The key is to offer a fresh and creative approach on the right platforms that you choose to build your visibility and your reputation in order to target your consumers. So at this point, instead of pushing sales, you want to be building your brands, maybe even generating leads as well. And I'm going to talk about some really nice lead generation techniques in a crisis in a little while. So at this point, In your brand's communication, trust and reputation is the top priority. Consumers during a crisis do not pay attention to fancy and avant-garde marketing tactics. It just doesn't work. So brands need to focus on building trust and reputation. And the key is to manage trust marketing in the right and centered way as concentrating on, on these following things. One, support the PR and the brand image building with action. Do the right thing first the publicity, be positive, uh, be encouraging towards your potential customers, focus on strengthening trust, love and loyalty, and ensure that the quality of delivery of new products and services. Also leverage the influence of loyal customers by managing the customer relationships, meeting the customers or even exceeding the customer's demands. When communicating on digital media, use the right tone for the situation. It's a very sensitive time right now. 
we are in such a huge crisis and we haven't seen something like this in a very long time. I mean, we've had some crazy diseases in the last 10, 15 years or so, but nothing on this capacity. Although a coronavirus hasn't had much of an impact like MERS or even HIV, the panic is there and it has a lot of it has to do with digital media and the form in which we consume content has played its part in the hysteria. So it remains a top challenges for branding and communication in, in 2020. And the stay well, stay safe message is one of the biggest contributions to society during such a crisis. It sounds hard, but brands should manage and find equilibrium of saying the right thing at the right tone at the right time. So appropriate communication is crucial. Meet needs with your best products and your best services. Speak with action. Be accountable and authentic with your empathy and talk with action. Have positive calls to action in your messages and inspire with positive energy. During different stages of crisis development, consumers' needs and mindsets may differ. Therefore, brands need to plan out and to manage in accordance. One of the first stages is the survival phase when brands need to deliver quick response and solutions. And the next one is the recovery phase. And we're going to get to the recovery phase. There is a light at the end of the corona tunnel. So when it comes to the recovery phase, while brands should build trust to respond to and be rational in a prudent sort of mindset. And the last phase is the rebound phase. This is where brands may satisfy abandoned desires for consumption, but still keeping in mind that uh, the consumer is still cautious. Although the the worst uh, or we've, we, we've the crisis has peaked or is still peaking in your part of the world, but there is a downside and the mindset will change. And I think throughout the rest of the year, we as marketers and business owners, we're going to have to be mindful, even when the the coronavirus clears up, we have to be mindful of the mindset of our consumers. Be innovative. Now, it's not a secret that during the stay home period uh, that many uh, countries are going through, and it was just released recently in South Africa as well, industries such as gaming and video game apps see a great increase in demand. So according to one report, 574 accounts of video platforms have gained 500,000 new followers between January 20 and February 2. And we, here we are in the mid, uh, mid-March and we haven't really seen any, any recent stats lately, but I'm sure those numbers have increased as more and more countries uh, go into the stay-at-home Uh, social distancing mode. Brands have an opportunity to tap into this by creating branded apps, branded games, videos, incorporating your your products in that kind of content that you create. So once this wave has settled, uh, these products will still be on your uh, customers' minds. And once things have settled, um, maybe the purchase and procurement phase of the customer sets in. Health and fitness industries may increase relevant content to engage with consumers. It's all about keeping healthy, washing those hands and sanitizing. But gyms are seen as a no-go, although um, gyms are a lot of gyms are open. But remember, with those contact precautions, people need to exercise at home. It's a great way for um, independent uh, fitness enthusiasts and uh, personal trainers to go online and to strut their stuff, to build their brand during the crisis. Um, I know a lot of times we, we you see on social media that small business is going to take the biggest hit. But if planned out carefully and building your brand in this crisis, uh, small businesses can rise, but you need a strategy. So if you're looking to strategize with a partner, I am available to assist clients where I can, my team and I obviously will help you to navigate crisis branding and to, to become, become a phoenix once the, once the dust settles on the, corona, uh, on the corona scare. So this is me, Yolanda Rose. Thanks for tuning in to this week. And hopefully next week we can get back to some more hardcore digital marketing. But in the meantime, stay safe and stay positive and uh, don't get caught up 
in the corona frenzy. Don't don't panic. Take things one step at a time and it's essential for you to plan. So if you're looking for somebody to to work on your digital branding during this crisis, drop me a mail. It's Yolanda at YolandaRose.com. I'm also on Facebook. It's Yolanda Rose again and on Instagram as well. It's Yolanda Rose 7 and check me out on uh, TikTok, on LinkedIn, on Snapchat. I'd love to connect with you on all kinds of platforms and to help you grow your business online.